You had a lot of empty possessions there. What, what did you see from your team offensively down the stretch? Uh, yeah, we, we, we did. Uh, you know, we did have some empty possessions. Uh, you know, I thought, uh, I thought we really attacked uh, the basket. You know, I thought we did a solid job uh, of sharing it. Uh, you know, we got uh, a little isolation happy there, uh, you know, for, uh, for a stretch. Uh, you know, the screen wasn't set quite low enough uh, on our small, small ball screens. Uh, you know, they push us out further on the floor and, uh, and, and uh, couldn't get the shots at the rim that we were getting. Fred, Joe Colley, Chicago Sometimes. I mean, besides the, the scoreboard, it seemed like there was just kind of a little loss of poise, a couple technicals and guys complaining. I mean, did you sense that things were kind of unraveling and, and, the, and the guys you were hoping to be a little more poised weren't? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll say this. I, I love the way our guys competed, you know, to come out on the road, uh, you know, to play really, really good basketball, uh, you know, for the majority of the first three quarters, uh, you know, came out in the start of the fourth. I thought, uh, uh, you know, we got off to a good start. And then obviously, uh, you know, they took over the last, uh, last 10 minutes. But, you know, I love the way our guys competed. You know, they held serve. We got to do the same on Friday. Uh, Sam Smith, Bulls.com. Uh, you had kind of a clean third quarter, no turnovers, and then fourth quarter, six of your 16 at that point. Was it serendipity or was there anything you saw? Was it their pressure? I mean, Wade and Jimmy had like half of them. Yeah, yeah. You know, first half, that was the big thing that we talked about was taking care of basketball, that and rebounding. Uh, you know, they had us down uh, 9 to 2, <clears throat> maybe 10 to 2 in the, in the first half on the offensive glass, and then we had 10 turnovers to their two. Uh, you know, second half, uh, so that third quarter, I thought we took great care of the basketball. We got good shots up on the board. Uh, and then in the fourth, uh, you said it, Sam, we had six turnovers. Uh, you know, you can't have that. That's, that's, that's too many in the fourth quarter. Fred, Nick Friedel, ESPN. We've been talking a lot about the fourth quarter. Jimmy had just two shots uh, down the stretch there. What do you think you can do to get him the ball more going into game six late in these games? Well, you know, he, he and Wade, uh, you know, we run a lot of small, small ball screens, uh, you know, with, uh, uh, with, with their point guard trying to get him involved in it, uh, you know, and then making the play out of it. Uh, you know, Wade had it going, and you know we went uh, went to uh, Dwayne uh, a lot of times with that small, small ball screen. Uh, you know, and we had Jimmy on the other side. Uh, they trapped it. Uh, you know, we got the ball out of it. Uh, you know, and, and again, I thought our guys, uh, for the most part, made the right plays. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, Jimmy. Uh, you know, he's a guy obviously that's carried us a lot uh, in uh, uh, in fourth quarters. Uh, we need to do a better job of getting him the ball. Fred, kind of kind of piggybacking onto that question, there were obviously plenty of times during the regular season where both Dwayne and Jimmy played great at the same time, really, except for the <clears throat> game two uh, where Dwayne had that big fourth quarter. It hasn't really happened much in this series. Why is that? Well, you know, again, I, I, Dwayne had 18 shots, Jimmy had 15 shots. You know, you want your two best players uh, out there getting shots. Uh, you know, again, I thought Dwayne was very aggressive getting to the free throw line 10 times, thought he rebounded well. Uh, you know, we used him as basically our point guard tonight with Isaiah Cannon out there on the floor. Uh, and, I th and I thought he played great. I, th I thought he was very aggressive. Uh, you know, and obviously we're going to get Jimmy the ball as well. Uh, you know, Bradley does a great job crawling underneath, uh, you know, Jimmy, but, you know, with Dwayne. Uh, bringing the ball down the floor, uh, you know, a lot of time he facilitated and, and, and again, did a good job getting into the paint, making the right read. Fred Steepball, Pat Boston Herald. Is there some frustration with you get a one for 10 on threes out of Isaiah Thomas, which is, you know, what you pray for and still weren't able to get it? Yeah, you know, again, in the, in the fourth quarter, they got in the paint. Uh, you know, they, uh, uh, I thought Horford was excellent in the fourth. Um, you know, again, you got to fight through that. You know, that was the adversity uh, that we didn't handle great uh, in that fourth quarter. Th th those are the times you got to fight through. Uh, you know, Isaiah still got it done by getting in the paint and, and making plays like he always does. Fred, Vince Good will see us in Chicago. Do you have to guard against telling Jimmy and Dwayne to being too selfish in the fourth quarters because that bogs down the offense? But isn't that like a, I guess, a double edged sword at this point because you want those guys taking the shots? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're going to get the ball in their hands and, and hopefully they go out and make the right plays, uh, you know, which, which I felt for the majority of the game that they did. Fred, Bill Doyle, Worcester Telegram. You just talk about the defense that Avery Bradley played on Butler. Yeah, he, he's, he's a great defensive player. They, they have, uh, you know, three of the best defensive wing players uh, in the league with, with Crowder, with, uh, with Bradley, and with Smart. Uh, um, uh, so, yeah, he, he, did a, he did a great job. He had a great game. Uh, Fred, just just the obvious, uh, possibly one game left in your season. How, how do you approach Friday? Well, uh, obviously, backs against the wall. Uh, it's a must win. Obviously, uh, we've got to get back to work uh, tomorrow and uh, hopefully come out with a great effort on Friday. Uh, Joseph Pavone, WEI.com, and Causer Street blog. Fred, did you see uh, Isaiah carry the ball at all in this game? No, 